Hey yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and your girl Fanny Lungu and we are Fanny and Jesse. Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction video. Before we get into the reaction guys I want to say thank you for subscribing. It's super amazing. Keep on subscribing. Uh, we want to get to 30,000 subscribers probably before the end of this year. I know you guys are gonna get us, get us there and yeah so right about now we're gonna to react to Andrew Ted how to stop being lazy forever and uh, this is from emergency meeting best beats so without any further ado let's get it emergency meetings are the core of our monumental success that's right. how do you deal with procrastination and laziness Off you why are you asking me that question why are you on this podcast asking me how to stop procrastinating turn off youtube go do something jesus christ what's wrong with people this is exactly what you were talking about, about asking a question where you already know the answer to. You know the answer is to stop doing things that waste your time and apply yourself to something important. Now, this may not be a waste of your time, but let me tell you, you're a dumbass, clearly. It's like Googling how to get fit, like you just said. Everyone knows what a push-up is. Do 10,000 of them a day. Stop wasting your fucking time. You know, I've never had to deal with procrastination. I've never had to deal with not being motivated because what is the alternative? Literally be a loser forever i am sick of reading shit on the internet saying yeah you know some people are special and they take longer to bloom and your time will come let me tell you something 99.9 .9 of people who are born broke live broke stay broke die broke that is the reality for almost everybody the internet and there it's all going to come to you at the right time bullshit is fucking a psyop to keep you down you already know the answer. You don't need me to tell you. Why the fuck are you asking four men who do not know you personally how to stop wasting your time? I don't even know what you do to waste your time. You already know the fucking answer. Can we ban this guy from our feed or do you guys want to hit him up first? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, you nailed it. Pro procrastination. I, I'm not going to try and change who you are as an individual. I don't know you. Right? Have fun staying poor. Have fun staying poor. I don't know your genetic <laughs> makeup. If, if you were a warrior, you wouldn't be asking that question. So you're either going to become a warrior or you need to adopt the ways of a warrior or you need to accept your position in life, which is just to, to suffer the pain of being a loser yeah. forever. Yeah, get a job at the car wash. Maybe I'll tip you one day. Yeah, correct. Enjoy. I agree with what they're both saying on, on a very, very practical level. Me and Andrew were talking about this on the day, uh, just this morning on the way to lunch, I guess, or this afternoon, is be imperfect on purpose, man. Like, don't, I, I always tell people, like, shoot the fucking gun shoot 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 and as long as you're aiming in the general direction you're supposed to no matter what you do the first time you shoot that gun you're going to have to adjust the scope mm. so shoot the fucking gun so you know how far you're off every business pivots every every workout plan is going to pivot everything is going to change you have to shoot the gun to know how far you're off and then you start honing it in and then you actually have a little bit of positive momentum that'll get your ass up and going so shoot the fucking gun miss on purpose be on perfect on purpose take action over everything because you're never going to do it perfect anyway so just go 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 i hope that what these two gentlemen said just now about you being a loser and me staying broke pisses you off yeah because if it pisses you off you might actually do something. Yeah. That and, is actually the blessing that these two just gave you is pissing you off. Or I'll see you in the car wash. Yeah. Absolutely. I don't I don't care if you turn your life around. I don't know you. I there's, don't care. Th there's very there's not many truly like if you put effort into the universe, I think it's Newton's this Newton's second law, right? Equal and opposite force. Mm -hmm. People always say, Oh, I, I wish I had something to work on. You could work hard on anything. It can be the most jackass thing. You can work hard on, I don't know, fucking whittling, buildings. Whi yeah, <laughs> whittling twigs. But if you truly work your ass off, it's difficult for it to have a negative impact on your life. Maybe you'll end up with an Instagram page, the best Instagram page on twig whittling. And, and, and who knows, right? My point is that it's very hard to find truly, truly negative energy that's directed in a, in a, in a semi-positive direction. It's hard to say, I'm working my ass off at X and it's made my life worse. Mm. You know, you're not, you're not doing anything and, and you're asking the question, hoping I'm going to give you some magical answer that's going to allow you to be motivated forever. But motivation isn't real. Everyone says this. Motivation is not real. Discipline's real. I do not feel like training, but I still train because I'm a disciplined individual. You don't get to go through life only doing the things you feel like doing. Do you know who gets to do that? Women. Be beautiful women. Beautiful women get to do what they feel like doing. As a man, you have to do the things you're supposed to do because what we said earlier is absolutely true. It's player versus player, my friend. Now, if I wake up, I've already got this massive head start over you in life and nearly every genetic gift, plus all my finances, plus my network. 
and I wake up and I decide, even though I don't feel like working, I'm going to work my ass off. And you wake up way down there, a peon, and you can't be bothered to work. What chance do you have against men like us? You don't stand a chance. You can't get the girl. We'll take the girl off you. We'll, we'll, we'll bankrupt your ass. We'll kick you out your house. You name it. You don't stand a chance. Now, if you're going to wake up and look in the mirror and understand that you're absolutely not really crushable, that you're a rabbit and that lions exist, and that's not going to motivate you to do something about it, then you're a lost cause. And there's, there's no point in asking us a question. You know exactly what you need to do. If you want to stay killable, then stay killable. But I can't live that way. I would refuse to live that way. It's a disgrace to my bloodline. It's a disgrace to my parents who struggled to raise me for me to be anything other than the best version of myself. That's honor. I have honor to my last name and to my and to my ancestry. Mm. It would be disgusting for them all to fought saber-toothed tigers so I can wake my lazy ass up, jerk off all day, and ask on YouTube how I can stop being a fucking loser. <laughs> You understand where I'm coming from? Oh, 100%. So this is this is down to you, my friend. And and listen, you may be feel fired up for 10 minutes after this little talk, but you're not going to feel fired up forever. You need to put systems in place. You need to get disciplined. And like Justin says, you need to get an atmosphere of people around you who are going to keep you accountable and not make it easy for you to continue to be a fucking nobody. And then you're going to fix your life. Otherwise, you're going to stay a nobody. That's your problem. It ain't my problem. It's, it's your problem. But also, we need people at the car wash. When I go to McDonald's and I order a burger, <laughs> someone has to make it. And I used to make them. I ain't even hating. If you're in McDonald's yeah. trying to better yourself, working your, working your job away, good for you. Work on your side hustles, working yourself. I used to work in fast food. But we need people to make those burgers because sometimes men like us get hungry. I mean, the advice is quite interesting. I would have to agree with everything they're saying. I feel like they shouldn't just say women get to do whatever they want to do. I feel like women should also take this. At the end of the day, it's always going to be you that's going to want something different for yourself. You that's going to see, uh, I'm lazy. You who's always going to notice the kind of atmosphere that you're in, the ambience. If you want to change that, it's all up to you. So you can decide today to... I don't... I love what Andrew said about motivation. It was Andrew, yeah? mm -hmm. I don't think it's all about motivation. Do you understand? It's, a, it's discipline. If you know you're supposed to, it's like people that go to work. Uh, people go to work even if they're sick, whether they like to, whether the boss likes it or not. Because at the end of the day, you just can't choose when to stay away from the office. You have to. You have to show up no matter what. You really have to show up and it's not your choice that you should be there or not. That's what I'm saying. Uh, discipline here plays a very, very big part because you have to discipline yourself and the activities surrounding whatever you have to do. So if you put in the work, you get something. But then if you're just going to be comfortable and say, um, I'm okay with where I'm at, comfortable with your situation, then again, that's all up to you, you know. And I'm trying to think, they've said something about not caring that someone is coming to them to ask. You know, they don't care because they don't know the person. And many times I'm fond of doing this, going to a person that doesn't understand your emotions, doesn't understand where you're coming from, doesn't understand a lot about you, asking them for advice on how you can do certain things. They'll give you advice according to what works for them, but then what works for them may not work for you. So it's all up to you and how you want to develop in this world and how you go about your day, all those things apply otherwise i think discipline plays a very very big role if you want to change that laziness if you want to be more productive if you want to get more out of life those are my thoughts what are yours yeah those are good thoughts actually really really impressive i just liked what what, what they just say but i can just add on a few two things um the thing is this i mean of course everybody wants to live good life everybody wants to live the life that you know you look back and you're like yes i've achieved this and i've achieved that i've achieved that so also if, even uh at, at that point you see your grandchildren and you're happy that you know they're in your hands or maybe they are they have actually like um tried to if not emulate what you did just they're on the same path like um same path to become um grown men of of, of purpose i mean uh 
maybe having money, wealth, and all those kind of stuff. And I, I, again, um, there's so much pressure out there uh, for for actually, mostly I'll say this, men, if you're a man out there and you are lazy, or maybe you feel like you want to sleep the whole day, I think there's no place for you. I, I think it's 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 more like, you know already like the system is just so much against you. The system is so much uh, trying to, uh, I mean, just crash you down. So what can you do in that, in that uh, moment where you see the system is just trying to derail you and all those kind of things? In the beginning, the guy was asking that question, which was a really good question. But again, Tristan said that, in the first place you shouldn't be watching us you know you should be somewhere doing something you should, you should be somewhere working you should be somewhere you know putting content out there so now there's a thing that i normally say to people or maybe i just say to myself be the person who uh who doesn't consume content if you have your phone be the person to be always uh creating something so that for the people to be able to probably watch, see, think about and all that kind of stuff. But if you're the person who sits back and relax and you're just consuming content throughout, then I feel you are one of the lazy people we have around. Again, discipline is very important. For anything that you do, when you put in discipline, it's going to take you from point A to all the way to point Z. So I feel like uh, both men, uh, did a good job also yeah also he spoke about waiting for the right time i don't think there's ever a right yeah, time yeah, the time no right is time. now yeah it's not right time with the f especially he believed that tomorrow is never promised no there's right never a right time so as long as you exist do something to change your situation if you're not happy about it and work on your time work on your time don't don't wait for me to push you to do something the push should always come from within you yourself push yeah. yourself then others will push you as well and yeah that's that anything else just to add in a little bit also try and avoid people who uh are not motivated you get it just like when you when you're around people that they they they, 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 they let's say when you're around rich people you feel rich you feel like you're part of it and then it actually motivates you even more do you understand but if you're around brokers and all those kind of stuff you find yourself just going down into that uh rabbit hole and whatnot yeah so i feel like it's more um find people who are higher than you then you can be able to be you can be able to find yourself uh like them very true but motivation doesn't work like that I know motivation first of all you have to have that self motivation that, that's why i love yes because you know? i know you yes. always say that to yeah. me motivation starts with this yes pushing yourself once you wake up in the morning you look at yourself that's saying i want to change yeah. my situation should all start from you it shouldn't yeah. be funny telling exactly. you to you know like nobody should come out of nowhere you know, to tell you motivation to make you happy in fact you should we should all seek to be uh the friend that we want the people that we want yeah be that motivational person so that others can get exactly that like you. if i see that guys you woke up in the morning and i'm just sleeping there looking like uh um like a, i don't know like just a bag of maize next day i'll be so motivated to wake up early <laughs> wait, <morning> because, <laughs> <laughs> because, <laughs> because i'll be so embarrassed like I've been, I've been what here the whole. What does that even mean? I'm I mean, bag of mess just sleeps there the whole day, <laughs> you know. So I'll feel so embarrassed, and I'll feel motivated in a manner that you know what? Let me just wake up. Let me wake up, man. Regardless, this Let dude wakes something. up in the morning and he comes back with bags and whatnot. I'm sleeping here, not achieving anything. No, 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 no. Let me wake up. So that way you motivate yourself. So it's really good that. When you're with somebody and you feel like he's a, he's a lazy ass or rap, you just do your thing. Prove it to, to him that, you know what, I'm, I'm going to wake up early in the morning to just make sure that you see me wake up and come back while you're still sleeping. I think if that's, that's how you get your motivation, yeah. then that's okay. No, like, I don't want to. In a situation when you're alone, 
because if this I'm is alone. an individual that's asking that individualistic question if you're you know? alone if you're alone then you need to work on your discipline that's the thing work on your discipline that's, that's the thing. one thing that you should always work on and know yourself some people want but to wake up early and then do what like that for everyone not it for always everyone. has that... to be discipline because some people wake off motivation um, I'm looking at by, you waking up every morning. I'm motivated to also do no, something. No, by, by by discipline doesn't mean that you have to wake up at six every. You know. No, discipline doesn't mean that. Yeah, discipline means that you do the exact thing that you did yesterday. Constant. The, consistently. Const yeah, consistently. Like I have to do this. Let's say, for example, today I I ate bread. Tomorrow I'm gonna wake up again and eat eat bread like that, like that, like that. You understand? You don't skip. That's the discipline. So the the idea of I know a lot of people who are not early early risers and they are rich. So they just wake up at ten. The the way they manage their time. That's how you have to work your way in. You know, I mean, you can decide to wake up at twelve. That's what I'm you saying. You can decide you to wake up at one. You work, don't have but, to be like everyone else. Work yeah, on your own time. You like know? I feel like I can wake up at four to get my work done. You understand? Yeah. But well, actually, the opposite. You you can stay up at night and actually wake, get work done. Do you understand? Yeah. So that works for you. That this works for me. It could be afternoon for you and just thrive off. Don't look at Jesse and say, but he's staying up all night. When you know you can't stay you, up all use night. Use that time that you yeah. manage. Don't that don't force yourself to wake up early in the morning if you can't. But um, I mean. If you're at your early stage of doing things, I think it's really good for you to start doing that so that you see. In the morning? Yeah, I mean, it's really good to actually wake up before the sun actually rises. Yeah. It's That's really what you good. believe? Yeah, it's really good, to be honest. It's really good. So that you, you, I mean, of course, the early bird catches the worm. So if you wake up at that time, you'll be able to do everything very, very early. By the time it's even it's three or four, thing. even when it's three or four, you already achieved everything, Which so you're just relaxed. In the afternoon? Yeah, so you're just chilled and it, relaxed. It's the best While other people are still trying to struggle their way out up to mm -hmm. seven or eight or nine, when you you when when you, you had already done everything around three or four, so you're just chilling, probably preparing yourself for the next day. I mean, that's the best feeling ever. I love what you said. Yeah. So, guys, that's that. Let us know what you think. If there's anything you want us to react to, let us know down below by dropping the name or the link and we'll react to it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and we'll see you in our next reaction video. And deuces.